In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to complete an intersecting planes question. So I've picked one of the old higher level, one of the higher level questions off the old paper as shown here. And we're just going to take the first two parts of it, which you're most likely to come up against in the DCG exam. So the first is your line of intersection between the planes and your dihedral angle between the planes. So if we look at our solid works model, we can see our line, that's our elevation of the two pla planes, that's our plan. And what we're looking for is our line of intersection, which is the line that one plane cuts into the other and it's highlighted by this red cylinder running along here. So then if you want to find the dihedral angle, that involves looking at this line as a point view, as shown. And that, that gives you this view of the two planes when they're both edge views, so they bo both look like an X. And that gives you your dihedral angle in between the two of them there. I'll just show you how to set it up. So you're given a bunch of coordinates here. And how you figure this out is you go in 260, up 5, and down 80. So in this slide you can see, if I want to find, say, my point A, I pick a point out here before I have any of this set up, and I come in 260, I come up 5, and then I come down 80. So if we look back at point B, where you come in 215, up 90, and down 25, for point B you would come out from your point here, in 215, this direction, up 90, and down 25. So in our next slide, I'm going to show you how to get your line of intersection. So to find your line of intersection, the first thing that you do is you draw a horizontal line in your elevation. So that's a line parallel with your x, y line. You project that down into plan, and you draw it in here. Now, to go out your SOLIDWORKS model, we'll see what that's going to give you. There's your horizontal line that you've drawn in elevation, as shown here. And if you take an auxiliary view from plan, looking out in the direction of this line, so that'll be, basically it's an elevation taken at a different angle. So this is the view you'll see from plan. So if I rotate it around, I see my horizontal plane as a flat line, and I'm going to see this line as a dot. It'll give an edge view of this plane, which will show where this plane cuts into the green plane in front of it. And that will give us either end of our intersecting line as shown. So when if you look up along that line, you'll get the auxiliary as shown here. Now to get your heights for this auxiliary here, what you do is you come back three views to get them. So you count one, two, and three. So that means you take your height from your elevation here. So the easiest way to visualize, and this would be probably more relevant to other questions, because for this you just need to remember that you take it off your elevation. But say if you were to take another x, y line off here, and you wanted to find the heights for that, you'd have to think about this. So you, ca you jump over this x, y line, and then you go over this x, y line, and you take them from this direction here. So we can see for our e, we just come up, we take it down here and project it up here, and then take the height from our elevation, and then the same with f as well. So now we can see that we get the plane A, B, C as an edge, and that's going to give us where it cuts either end of the plane. So we can see that if we project the two cutting points, so where this plane cuts the line FD and where this plane cuts the line ED, if we project them back so to where it cuts FD 
along here and to where this point here cuts ED along here. We can join them up to get our line of intersection. And we pr can project that line of intersection then up to our elevation as well. And you can see the bit that I cover in heavy is just the bit in between the two planes and I can put the rest in dotted or you could draw it in lightly. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to find the dihedral angle between our two planes. So like I said earlier, it's just when you find this line of intersection here as a point view. So that means you're looking in on it. So you see it as a dot as opposed to a line when you're looking at it ev any other direction. So if we look at that as a point, we're going to see the other two planes as x's. So if we go into our PowerPoint and we look at this, we can see that we've got our line of intersection and our elevation and plan, first of all. So the fir there's two steps to this, and you just need to memorize them. And the first is that you need to look perpendicular to this line as shown. So you take lines out, per you project all your points out perpendicularly to this blue line. So that's at 90 degrees to it. Put in your X, Y line, project up your points. Like earlier, you will take, you'll count back three views. One, two, three. And you'll take your heights of this X, Y line. So your height of C will be taken from... Your height of C will be taken from here. And your height of D will be taken from here. Out this direction. So, the next thing you're going to do is you project down your line of intersection. So, you project this point down to where it cuts FD. And you project this point down to where it cuts D and E. And you join them up. Now your final, your final step to finding your dihedral angle between the two planes. After you've looked 90 degrees at it. And you've found what's called the true shape of this line. So, or sorry, the true length of this line. So that's the, that's you, that means you're looking directly down on top of it. So you know exactly how long this line could should be in this view so next thing you do is you look along the true length of the line and that will give you your dihedral angle then so project all your points up draw in your x y line at 90 degrees to the green lines as shown and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your heights count back three views so you're going to take your heights from here so say if you want the height of your point F, you project out F and you count back three views. One, two, three. And like I said before, if you could imagine these as two fences that you have to jump over. So this is just going to save you from being confused because some people, some people might make the mistake of coming down off this line here. Whereas in fact you, you measure off this X, Y line. So you count one, two, three, and you measure off this X, Y line and up this direction here to get your point C and the same for F. So if I go in next and, and if I fill in my planes, they should come in as an X. Now, if you're doing this question and you're slightly off, just by a millimeter or two, just make sure that you still you still kind of bluff it and you just you draw this in as a straight line because it, it's important just that the examiner sees that you got that you understand that in this view it should look as a straight line it shouldn't look like any other plane so if you fill in your dihedral angle then just pick the smallest angle out of the out of the two possible options you can pick either this or this or this and this so pick one of these angles and just indicate it with this symbol and then if you just write this symbol equals dihedral angle on your sheet, you'll get full marks. Unless they say determine, in that case, actually measure the angle and then indicate what it is in degrees. So that's my first tutorial on how to watch 
how to do an intersecting planes question. Thank you for watching.